Patients undergoing intense physical rehabilitation at Memorial can now take a drive, that is, without ever leaving the hospital. This new state-of-the-art simulator is a new tool on the road to recovery. The, the good thing is, is uh, we have 70 different driving scenarios and we'll be able to test things like reaction time, how quickly can we brake, is the patient able to scan to his left and his right, is he truly or is she truly able to function behind the wheel in a manner that makes the doctor feel that he's comfortable with letting them know that they can return. But it also gives us a tool for providing therapy to get them used to uh, reacting behind the wheel. This $65,000 simulator is the only one available in southwest Louisiana and one of the few in the entire state. It's all part of a complete expansion of real-world rehabilitation that includes the new Independence Walk. This area of the hospital will include functional stations that patients encounter in everyday life, such as a grocery store, an automobile, and various types of walking surfaces. Our ultimate goal is the same as the physician and the family and the patient the quickest return to home that we can achieve. And the high expectation nowadays is to get people home as soon as two weeks or a little bit more. The rehab expansion is made possible through gifts from the foundation at Lake Charles Memorial. The mission of the hospital is to provide compassionate care to people within a five parish region. The mission of the foundation is to support that care by providing financial resources for projects and for special programs. Because of their commitment to the community and bringing the newest technologies to Memorial, employees themselves stepped in with donations to fund the Independence Walk, along with a generous gift from Joe Miller Sr., a former board member and part of the architectural team that designed the original hospital. We have a very supportive philanthropic community and our board understands that our mission is to assist in the programs and projects that we have at the hospital. We also have a very supportive employee base as well. 